Hi, this is Anna. I've made a couple trips to town and thought I would share some of the stuff I've brought home with me. Um, so yeah, several different places. Um, Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree, Michael's, Tuesday morning, and I think that's it. So I'll just go ahead and get started. Well, actually, also a Ross store. So this I found at Ross. This is the, um, I think it's Maggie Holmes 6x6 by Crate Paper. And I just thought this was cute. I actually went there to see if I could find some of the new Christmas stuff that was out um, that was released in 2013 that I've heard some people finding at Ross, and I wasn't able to find it. But I did find this, so I brought that home. Uh, I stopped at Michael's, and I did pick up some of these little silk flowers. And these are just nice for little fill-ins on tags and cards. So pink, turquoise, white, and purple. <clears throat> Um, at the Dollar Tree, I found this packet of St. Patrick's Day pencils, and I like to make uh, little pencil kits for the holidays, so I thought those would be fun. And I also found this little kitty notepad at the Dollar Tree, and this owl notepad. And then I also picked up some of their um, Valentine's Day stickers. These are the chocolates and roses. These ones have little elephants and bears and hearts and bees. And this set is just bees and hearts. And then I thought this set was super cute. Uh, this is little leprechauns and beer steins. <laughs> that thought it was fun. And then these are the clovers, horseshoes, and pots of gold. And then I also picked up this sheet. It is uh, little gumball machines and candies. And then this sheet as well, which is just animals with hearts. <clears throat> so those were all from the Dollar Tree. Just set those aside. Um, at Michael's I picked up these paper flowers. Uh, I th think these were may have been in the $1.50 or $2 bin. I'm never sure because my stores have different prices on their bins. Some are a dollar, some are a dollar fifty. Um, so these I thought were pretty. Those. And then I got some of the smaller ones um, as well in the various colors. Pink, turquoise, yellow, this aqua color, and lavender. Put those home. And then I also picked up this set of yellow silver and black gems and these little black hearts and I picked up this set of pearls flat back pearls in green white and kind of an aqua color and also in silver yellow and orange and then also found just one of these um, these are just little crocheted uh, flowers and I probably would have found or purchased more if I had found more but I only found the one my stores don't get very much merchandise, so if I don't buy it when I see it, I tend to miss out on stuff. So, pick that up. And then I found this cute set of uh, rooster note cards. This is from the French Kitchen French Kitchen line, and it has a little scalloped edge here along the bottom. And then I also found this set here with just the one rooster. And I bought these... Um, Creatology Valentine's Day Erasers, which I thought were super cute. They have little fox faces. A little fox, there's an owl, and a hedgehog, and this uh, really cute little coin shape with a heart. To show you right side up, I guess. And so I thought those would be cute to use with my little holiday pencil packs. Um, I did find some stamps. I got an A for Anna. I got this set, um, I think this was two dollars. It says thank you, hello, and a note, and these are all three separate. I found this set that says be yourself, nobody does it better. Uh, the crown is pretty cute too. Um, this set was, I believe, also in the two dollar band with the little glasses, and it says just a creative type of girl. And I did find some 80% um, off Christmas stamps, so I got this little deer. And this dog, he's pretty cute. The hedgehog with Santa's clothes. And this little gal with the polar bear. 
And then I found a couple of stamp sets as well for 80% off. This one says Happy Holidays, Season Greetings, Merry Christmas, Have Yourself a Merry Christmas, and Joy. And this one says Wishing You Good Times, Good Cheer, A Very Merry Christmas, and A Happy New Year. So I thought those were pretty nice for 80% off. <clears throat> Um, I did stop at Target. I picked up a package of these little puffy hearts. I thought those were cute. Some of them have scalloped edges and some of them are just plain. But they're all shimmery and have an adhesive dot on the back side. And I saw this um, cute set of note cards for Christmas with little reindeer and trees. So I did get that. Um, oh, also at Michael's I found this in the 80% off Christmas area and it's just a little box of pine cones and little red pip berries so I got that for 80% off. And then I stopped at Tuesday morning <clears throat> and I went bananas on buttons. They had all kinds of buttons so I picked up a bunch. Um, my mom is a teacher so I'll, we'll share a lot of these with her for her kids projects. Um, so I got this set of pastels, and these button galore bags were $3.49. So I got the pastels, and the primary colors, the aqua and green bag, the brights, or the neons, those are fun. And then I also got just the neon green, or the bright green bag as well. So those will be fun to have and to send to mom for her students. Um, they also had containers of buttons, these little jars. So I did get a few of these as well. They were also $2.99. So I got this light brown color, which I use a lot of brown at Christmas time, so those will come in handy. And these are um, button buttons galore buttons. And I found this pretty color orange. Uh, it's just a really sweet, not quite peach. It's not really orange either, so I just thought it was pretty. So I got that container. And then this one kind of took me by surprise. It's the same jar, um, just this pretty olive, or maybe avocado color. But it actually is a Paper Tray Ink Custom Mix Vintage Button Collection. So I don't know if you can see that with the bright light, but it does say paper tray ink on the top and it was the same price $2.99 <clears throat> let's see I also picked up at Tuesday morning this set of embellishments um, just little gems and flat back pearls and these cute little resin flowers and these were $1.49 in case you're interested and they had these super cute little bottle cap stickers, and they are very small. It's my thumb. Um, they are the small bottle cap, and these are for the mint julep line, which I think is super cute. So I bought two of those. These were 99 cents. And I got the um, mint julep flare as well. It says Sweet Life and Today with Pretty Little Butterflies, True Story, Hello, Just Lovely, A Deer, and These Pretty Roses. Those were also 99 cents. And for 99 cents, I picked up this package of uh, basic, gray bra basic gray brands. And this little package of flair for $1.49 <clears throat> with a little owl. I thought the hearts were pretty cute and the little clothespin that says cute. So that. And then this package of crepe paper buttons. These are just a mixed set, but they have a little variety there. I thought those were nice, and those were $1.49. I also picked up this stamp set here, this Fisker set for $1.99, and it's just little mini tags. So, I thought the bird was cute holding the little flower, and whatnot so that will be fun to use. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby and found the Vintage Amour paper pack. This was in the Valentine's area not in the paper pad area 
and <clears throat> so I bought this one. Um, I used to be a designer for Crafty Secrets, which is a vintage paper crafting line and stamp line, and I kind of miss miss my vintage projects. So I thought this would be fun and maybe get me inspired to pull out some of my um, old vintage ephemera too. So I picked up that, and the Valentine stuff is 30% off this week at Hobby Lobby. I got these heart doilies, and I picked up white, red foil, and red. And then I always like to get um, table scatter or sequins, and I just tuck it inside projects or boxes that I mail. So I got these little open red hearts, some pink embossed hearts, some silver, pink, and purple hearts, and lips. I thought these were really fun. So they're red and pink. And that's it from Hobby Lobby. Let's see. Um, I also got some paper from Tuesday morning. Let's see if I can get this in frame for you. Uh, this is a Graphic 45 sheet. Uh, it's from the Curtain Call Collection called Let's Dance. And um, of course, this is one side of the paper, but this is the side I bought it for, which is the uh, reverse print music. So I thought this would be nice to add to my stash. I have all kinds of sheet music that is in the reverse color, so I thought this would be nice. I found this sheet from We Are Memory Keepers, and it's called Happy Campers Wildflowers. And it's just got this really cute sunflower pattern, but I also really like it for the wood grain pattern on the back side. And then this is from the same line, Happy Campers. This one is called Curly Q. And I thought that was cute, but also got it because I really liked this plaid here. It reminds me of the Cosmo Cricket um, camping lines, Mr. Campy and the S'more um, Love line. So I like that right there. And then this sheet as well is from the uh, Simply Spring line by Mem We Are Memory Keepers. And it's just a um, kind of a peachy pink uh, bracket pattern, but the back side is this really pretty floral with blue and then the really pretty uh, roses. So I got that, and those were all 99 cents. And then I found this packet, uh, We Are Memory Keepers. Um, it's the en entire Simply Spring pack, and this was $8, which is a steal of a deal. <laughs> um, it comes in a really nice case. Um, it's about oh, three quarters of an inch thick, and it comes with all of the um, 12 by 12 pieces, the sticker sheet, the tags, and things like that. And this was $8. They had other lines as well, um, also in the storage container. Um, one of them, I think, was Hall Pass. But. So I also like how on the edge of the container it's uh, labeled with the line. So if you keep your uh, papers on your shelves um, according to the uh, paper line, that will be really handy for you. So another thing that I got in the mail this week, um, I received my recent Whippersnapper Designs cling sets that I illustrated. And if you don't know, I am an illustrator for Whippersnapper Designs, and um, I put together cling mount sets for them. And these are the two latest release. This one is called Cheers to You, and it has 15 different sentiments in the set. And it is a uh, red rubber set that comes as a one square red rubber sheet mounted um, on cling foam. And then the buyer, or you, would then cut them apart um, and prepare them for use like this. So these arrived this week. Very excited to put those to use. And the second set arrived as well, which is Everyday Sentiments. And so same thing. It's a red rubber set, 15 sentiments and comes in a clear storage case like this. So those are going to be fun. And then also the uh, inspiration sheet that came with the order as well, showing you different ideas to do um, for various whippersnapper images. So, And this actually is one of my images. They have several artists that illustrate for them. This Valentine chicken is one of mine, and this uh, baddie for you card. Um, these are my images as well. So I got that, and then uh, the last thing, I received an award at work for doing a, a job well done. 
um, kind of a thank you award and so I put the, that money to use by ordering myself a package of Ink Tense blocks um, in a 24 set and then a set of Ink Tense 72 colored pencils as well. So I'm very excited about these to get started and um, can't wait. So there are the blocks and then the pencils look like that and there's two layers of pencils in the tray. So I'm very excited and so what I did um, because some of the colors in the pencil set repeat in the blocks um, so I marked them with these little red dots, sticker dots, just so I knew um, which set I had or which colors I had of the um, block sizes. So I got that and I've already put together my sample sheet. Basically I just drew a grid and made um, note of which color number was uh, which and then made a sample of every color uh, from the blocks and then of every pencil in the set as well. So I'm really excited to get started with these. Um, I do a lot of coloring with markers, um, Shinhan Touch Twin markers, and I do a lot of watercoloring so I thought this would be a nice way to add um, another medium to my projects. So, Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you found some goodies um, you want to go out and find um, in your area and I hope you have good luck. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk again soon.